Thank you for joining me on this walk around video for the new Civic EHEV. So I'm really lucky today I've got it in front of me, or to the side of me, uh, an advanced model. So just to give you a bit of an idea, we start off with an elegance model, which is really well specced. We then move up to a sport in the middle and I have top of the range advanced here. So as we go around, I'm gonna point out some of the things that, that may be different on the particular model that you're looking for. However, the silhouette and the main features are going to run all the way through all three grades. So right from the front you can see a really nice smooth front to the car. So a very sophisticated and powerful look from the front and right in the centre we have our H badge and as you may know it's got a little bit of blue just on the inside there and that's to signify it's hybrid powered. So this is the EHEV and it's our final piece of our electrification programme for our mainstream models. So we have an absolutely fantastic powertrain that I'll talk to you about in a little while. Just to the side of that we have this honeycomb grill and you'll see a little bit of similarity on the inside of the car. So it's really nice the way we've tied some of the external features onto the inside of the car as well. Really subtle, but just here we have our parking sensors, they're down here as well. And they are, as you'd expect, parking sensors that are going to help you when you're getting close to a brick wall or something like that. However, we've made them a little bit different this year. So they now use sonar technology, which means they can actually pick up on glass. So if you were reversing up to maybe a shop front or something, you would have uh, the sonar sensors. They're gonna take care of giving you the information so you know exactly how far away from the, the item in front of you are or that shop window. So I'm just gonna move across to the front and show you the headlights. So on this particular model, we have the adaptive driving beam. So all of the cars have LED lights, which is fantastic because it means you've got really good vision, you're easily seen, and it creates uh, less eye fatigue because even better nighttime vision. But because I'm really lucky and I have this advanced model here, we have the adaptive driving beam. Now this is like high beam support system, but the next level. So all of our cars have the ability to go between uh, dip beam and main beam. So you don't have to do that. The car automatically gives you the best vision. But on this particular model, it can actually adapt the lighting. So for instance, if I was uh, driving along and somebody walked in front of me, it's, it, a normal car wouldn't recognize the silhouette of a person. So it, the camera right at the top, will see a person and it can dip them down. So we don't even dazzle pedestrians. So that is something that the uh, the advanced model has and added to that just on the corner we have active cornering lights. So at low speed when you're turning left or turning right the appropriate uh, LEDs in there will illuminate this area around here for you or if you indicate as well. And nice little thing as well if you select reverse it'll actually illuminate both of them because of course when you're turning right you go left and vice versa. So it gives you that good illumination when you're parking. Now the Sport and the Advanced model, they both have LED fog lights. So again, just giving you a better visibility, you know, when the conditions aren't as great as we'd perhaps like. As we're moving back, sort of you know, from the front of the vehicle, we've got our lovely bonnet. Now, you may hear from that, it sounds a little unusual. That's because this is an aluminium bonnet. So on the previous model of Civic, the Type R had an aluminium bonnet to save weight because it's a performance car. What we want to do with this particular model is keep weight as low as possible. So again, we've taken the opportunity to have an aluminium bonnet on this car. And added to that, it's actually 25 millimeters lower than the previous car. So that's gonna give you much better visibility as well. Under the bonnet though, that's where all the magic happens. So this is where we've got our two motor hybrid system. So that's going to deliver 184 PS. We've got 315 Newton meters of torque, which are fantastic figures. But I would absolutely encourage you to get a test drive in one of these cars. It's amazing. It truly, truly is. Um, and we're going to get really good fuel economy uh, up to, depending on the grade, of course, but up to a shade over 60 miles to the gallon using the WLTP method for calculation. So we have a really strong um, petrol engine supplying the electricity to give us the drive to the electric motors to power those front wheels. Now, if we move a little bit further back, we've got our wipers. Now you might think, well, of course you've got wipers, Duncan. Well, 
what we've got is a new little bit of technology on our wipers and we have the jets at the top of the wiper blade. So we've probably all been there, you're driving along at night time, you put your water jets on and of course they would normally come around about this sort of area and it takes a while for the blade to actually get there. So for those fractions of a second you've got distorted vision. But with this system, the water sprayed directly above the, the wiper blade, so you've got better vision more of the time. Added bonus to that as well, it uses 40% uh, less water. So if you're the kind of person that puts screen wash in, it's also saving you 40% off your screen wash bill as well. So every little helps. Then as we move up the windscreen, now from the front, it just looks like a regular windscreen, but when you look from the side, it's really quite curved. So what that's going to do for you as a driver and indeed a passenger is give you greater sort of field of vision. You can see much further around. Think of it like the visor on a, on a motorcycle crash helmet. So we've got much better visibility and equally the A-pillar is pushed further back than on the previous Civic. So again, that's how we've got the curve here, that's how we've got better visibility and not only have the driver and the passenger got better visibility, but the camera right at the top for our Honda Sensing safety package actually has a greater uh, field of view as well. So we have a multi-purpose camera right at the top on all three grades. And this is going to give you some things that perhaps you're used to, like lane keeping assist system. And um, that's going to look for the, the painted lines on the road. And it's going to help the steering you know, stay centered, help you stay centered. So there's less driver fatigue going on as well. It's going to give you information if you, you know, cross over a line without indicating, just to help keep you safe. It also looks for vehicles in front, cars, lorries, even motorcycles, and it can judge how far ahead they are. And rather than having traditional cruise control, we have adaptive cruise control. So you can set a predetermined time gap between you and the vehicle in front, and it will keep a nice distance there to keep you safe. A new feature that incorporates both of these together is Traffic Jam Assist. So Traffic Jam Assist allows lane keeping assist and adaptive cruise control to work down to zero. So if you were driving on the motorway and all of a sudden the traffic comes to a halt, your adaptive cruise control will bring you to a stop, your lane keeping assist will still offer some assistance with the steering and then you've been stopped for maybe a second or two, it'll actually restart you again. So another really nice feature where we've extended the parameters of some of the features that we've got, but it's gonna keep you safer on the road for longer. Then, as we come round the car, this particular model has 18 inch wheels. So the Elegance has 17s, the Sport and the Advance have this design of 18 inch wheel here. And because mine is the Advance, it's diamond cut as well. Whereas on the Sport, it's all gloss black, giving it that nice sporty finish. And it would tie it into the door mirrors as well because they would be gloss black on the Sport for you as well. Now, as we move around, we have a keyless access to the car, but this one's open. So we've got really nice, easy, wide access to get into the car. We'll show you more on the interior a little later on. But this point here, just in line with the, um, the B pillar, is pretty much the highest point of the roof. So from that point on, it starts to slope into this fastback look. So you've still got really good headroom in the back, but a slightly different look to what we've had with the previous Civic. Now, I also have the panoramic roof, which opens on this particular model. So that is something specific to the actual um, advanced model that I've got here. But the opening panoramic roof is uh, pretty much a must have for me. I do like that, really, really do. Then as we go further back, just like the front doors, we've got really good wide opening access to get into the rear of the car. Um, we'll just show you inside in a moment, but we've got rear ventilation for our rear seat passengers. We've got USB output, so anybody in the back can keep their phone nicely charged. So plenty of space, nicely controlled temperature in the back as well, and power. What more could your rear seat passengers need? Then as we go further back, we get in towards the, the rear wheel now. And compared to the previous Civic, our wheelbase is now 35 millimeters longer. The track is also wider as well. So we've got more stability, but we've also got really fantastic handling. And again, just like when we were talking about the hybrid system, I'd really encourage you to get in contact with your local dealer and book a test drive so you can and feel how good this is 
for yourselves. Now at this point, I can also see that this line for the glass, again, is quite low. So if you think about being a rear seat passenger in here, your vision outside of the, the nice privacy glass that comes as standard is really good. So you've got the lower glass line, really good visibility out of there. So everybody's gonna be happy inside the car. Then as we move to the back of the car, you can really see those lines we were talking about earlier, this fast back approach styling to the rear of the car. So right at the top, we have got the shark fin antenna that's gonna give you all the signals coming in. So we've got our radio, GPS, all those kind of things. And then we've got our privacy glass, and that's on all three grades, the elegance, the sport, and the advanced model I've got here. And of course that carries around to the, the rear passenger uh, windows as well. Now you may see some really sharp angles here, which would be incredibly to, difficult to do with a metal tailgate. So what we've got is a beautiful looking um, fastback on the car, but also we've made it from resin. So what that does is it allows these shapes and it also allows us to have 20% lighter weight. So that added to the lighter weight bonnet just keeps the weight down that little bit more. And as we know, this is the driver's hybrid. So every little bit of weight we can take away from as high up as possible. That's a really, really good thing. Now, when it comes to opening the, uh, the tailgate, so one of the things you'll notice is how close you can actually stand to the boot when you open it. So that's really good for me, but equally if you're parked up against like a brick wall or something, because these hinges are quite far forwards, it means that the pivoting action allows the, the, uh, the fast back to be hardly any further back than the car itself. So really useful when you're loading the boot. So the capacity inside is either 404 or 410 litres, depending whether you go for the, uh, the advanced as we've got here with 404 litres because it has the additional subwoofer inside or the 410 litres of the Elegance and the Sport model. Now, most of the time when you're loading things in, you've got really great access here. So you're probably not going to need to move the tonneau cover at all. Um, so you can pop your shopping in, no problem. And of course, when you pull this down, there's the, the shade underneath here that's gonna keep prying eyes out. And we've got privacy glass as well. But of course, sometimes you need to carry larger items. So you just pop that across there and you can stack items up. And of course, we can fold the seats as well. So loads of really good space in the back of the car. I'm gonna pop that across. And underneath there, we've got some boot illumination as well, just to make it easier at night time for you. So as we close it down, just like to draw your attention to the uh, little lens here. So all three grades of the new Civic benefit from the rear parking camera. So that's just there, all nicely hidden away. So we close it down and then it's going to remind us what those lights look like. So we've got our LED stop and tail lights on the outside, and then we've got our high level brake light right in the center. Now we just did mention the rear view camera. We also get rear parking sensors, just to give you that little bit extra information when you're making those maneuvers in car park situations. So that's enough about parking. We should get onto driving. So if we pop round to the, uh, the driver's side, obviously we want to get you inside the driver's seat. Okay, so now we're inside, uh, you're going to get a really good view of the interior of the vehicle and just going to point out a few of the key features in here so that you can, you know, we can whet your appetite a little. So now you're in the driving seat, you would actually see sporty steering wheel right in front of you and you've got your volume controls on the left hand side and in this particular model you've got your things like uh, adaptive cruise control, speed limiter, intelligent speed limiter on the right hand side and the adjustments for those as well. Now, one of my favorite features is we've got a heated steering wheel. Absolutely love that. Now, looking through the steering wheel, this is the advanced, remember, so we've got the, the large full TFT screen where we've got our power meter on the left-hand side, we've got our speed on the right-hand side, and again, you can make adjustments uh, through these rollers as to what information you want to see at what point. As we move across, all grades get the nine inch uh, display audio. So on here, we've got things like the inbuilt navigation. We've got things like our Apple CarPlay or our Android Auto, which is absolutely tremendous. And inside there, uh, we've even got things like the owner's manual. So you can have a little look through that if there's anything that you want to look at in the future, all in there. Then moving down, we've actually got this honeycombed grill. 
So remember at the front we mentioned we've got the uh, that nice sporty grill and it's echoed on the inside. That's what I was referring to there. And you've got this little joystick so you can adjust where you want the flow of the air to actually go for you, which is really, really cool. Underneath that, we've got a lovely balance between digital and sort of those analog controls. So we've got digital display. My temperature at the moment is 19 degrees, perfect. But actually to adjust that, we've got the dials, which have got a really good feel to them, the sort of the knurling on the outside and a positive click when you're actually making those adjustments. And underneath that, we've got some physical keys. So if you want to change where the airflow is coming through, over here, if you want your aircon on or off, you've got that there, really nice and easy. We've got heated seats as well, and they're on buttons just in the sort of top right, top left hand corner. Moving down, we've got our USB charging points. Now the nice thing as well that we've got, which is really, really good, is I have a wireless charger. So love that feature, keep the phone nice and easily topped up. Now, when it comes to driving, again, it couldn't be much more simple, really. We've got our park button, we've got reverse, neutral, drive, or a push button, so there's no physical uh, levers to alter with. And just below that, we've got our drive mode lever. So in the past, we've had eco, uh, normal, and sport, and we've still got those. But on new Civic, we've got the individual mode. Now, the benefit of that is that you could have your air conditioning in eco mode, but you could have a sporty feel to your steering. So you can really personalize how you want the car to act and react for you. Um, electronic parking brake, and of course, we've got brake hold. So at the start of your journey, you've got your seatbelt on, press your brake hold, and you no longer have to apply the parking brake every single time you stop. Absolutely brilliant. Now, of course, you're going to want to adjust the seats. In this one, they are electrically operated as well. And you've got your power lumbar. I've got my panoramic roof. I'm just fully set with all the, uh, the beautiful things inside this car to get me on my journey. This being the Advance, it benefits from the Bose 12 speaker premium audio system. So incredibly good audio. Here we've got the full leather seats. And as you can see, you'll get two different options. So the elegant seats look like this. And the seats in the Sport will look like this. Another great feature that's shared between all three grades of Civic is blind spot information and also cross traffic monitor. So blind spot information gives you information if there's something in your blind spot. And it shows here in the door mirror with this little orange icon helping to keep you even safer on the road. Inside the car, we've got 11 airbags to keep you nice and safe. Now, because we've got Honda Sensing, that means you're going to be safer for longer. So we've got things like lane keeping assist that's gonna help you stay fresher for longer. We've got a driver attention monitor that's gonna give you a gentle nudge should you be driving, you know, showing a little bit of uh, driver fatigue, and it'll suggest you have a stop, walk around, cup of coffee, whatever. Um, but of course, we've got things like our autonomous braking as well. So this truly is a safe car all the way around. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this walk around video, and I hope it's whet your appetite on this new Civic E8 EV. Of course, if you'd like to know even more about this fantastic car, please contact your local dealer, and they'll be delighted to give you that information and uh, book in for a test drive if you would like one of those as well. So again, thank you so much for watching.